welcome back, welcome back. My name is Miss Shelley. I've been gone for a while, but I have some things to take care of. But I really missed you guys. I hope everything is well with you and yours. And I'm wishing you all love, light, peace, and blessings. So, I'm so glad to be back. <laughs> okay, so let's get right into this. This is going to be a general message. You can uh, check it out and see if this is your situation, okay? Um, I also have an IG and Facebook page that I will link below in the description box, all right? Also, personal readings are available. If you're interested, just hit me up, all right? Um, soon, I will be doing extended, okay? Um, on this channel, there will be a variation of different kinds of readings. Inspirational readings, love readings, um, evolution readings, okay? Collective, particular zodiac signs, all right? So I'm not going to keep it one strict way. I like variety in my life, and that's what I'll be doing from now on, all right? So this is a situation reading. See if it resonates with you. It is also a timeless message, okay? So it's just energy, right, guys? Energy is interchangeable. It is also fluid. It is not linear. So let's get into this. Reading, Holy Spirit, messages of love, truth, and guidance, okay? It can speak to you or someone you are energetically connected to. Let's see. So, we have grip and protect it, okay? Let's see, more information. Projected. I think I said protected. The next card is desire, lust, and sexual chemistry. All right. Someone here is um, a bit sexually frustrated. Okay. All right, someone's a bit sexually frustrated here. Someone may be holding back the BJJ or the penis from someone, all right? And it's it's kind of like um, they're using this kind of control tactic here, okay? All right, I feel this energy here where um, someone may have put someone in the timeout corner and said, you know what? I'm not dealing with you for this amount of days, this amount of weeks, or it may have been going on for months, okay? But in the in the in the process of this, someone is running into someone, okay? All right. So someone's already in a long-term relationship. They're either married or they've been in a relationship. I feel this energy here where someone is either going to slip up and confess or they're receiving receipts for some, from someone, okay? They're receiving receipts about this other person, okay? All right? And it's going to make someone feel rest, um, restricted, okay? It's going to make them feel anxiety-ridden. It's going to make them feel trapped in their mind as though they don't know what to do here. All right? Okay? All right? It's really going to hit somebody badly. And you may find this out. You may hear about this from a friend or someone. It could be anyone. Okay, guys? But you may find this out through written text. Okay, it could be a text message, an email, an IG, and I feel like this is going to happen pretty quickly, okay? It says here you may find it out in the future. It could be days, weeks, or months, all right? <clears throat> you may find out that this person has been creeping. They've been going on vacation, little hideaways, having little sexual um, escapades here, okay? And again, somebody may unintentionally spill the beans on themselves here holy spirit what is the uh let's clarify the cards on the board 
for the Coletto. Yeah, there's an energy here where someone has been doing this for months, for weeks, for days. Okay, but the beans are about to be spilled. You have receipts. Okay. The other energy I'm getting here is someone is asking someone to show them how much they love them. Show me. Don't tell me. Show me. Show me how much you love me. Show me I'm your queen. This is the other uh, connection here. Yeah, because we have the two. Well, this is not two of cups. It's lovebirds. Okay. Okay. So somebody has been feeling somewhat um, sexually frustrated. They want some loving attention. They want some emotions being shown. They want to feel a caress. They want to feel someone's body next to them. They want to share that kind of lighthearted energy and get out of the darkness here. Okay? Yes. Three of Swords reversed. So the way that they're going to be healing themselves is by, you know, taking a vacation. Now, some of, some may have gone on a vacation by themselves, you know, um, hang with the boys. Things are open now. Hang with the ladies. Things are open now. And they run into someone who they get this um, attention from. Okay? Yeah. They're emotionally detaching from their regular commitment. Okay, again, somebody may have put someone in the corner. Yeah, they've taken a break, right? With the Four of Swords here, okay? Mm -hmm. And slowly but surely, this pushed them into the arms of someone else. Slowly but surely, yeah, because they are heartbroken, okay? They do feel some regret, though. They feel regret. They feel guilty. Okay, they feel guilty. All right. <clears throat> Here's the emperor here. Okay, so this is a married person or a person who has been in a long-term relationship, male or female, but they're taking action here. All right, they're taking action in some sort of way. Mm. With the seven of swords, this person is sneaking off, okay, because they feel like they're not getting what it is that they want. All right, this is somebody who is in a home who's been with someone for years and years and years, eight years, 10 years, 12 years, 15 years, okay? And things have become stale in this relationship. Mm -hmm. But when you find out about this, because you will, you will find out, it will come to light. You may decide to have talks. The talks will be stern, they will be sharp, they will be a matter of fact, but I feel like it still doesn't take away the pain here. Yeah, someone has a choice to make with the lover's energy here. There's a choice to be made, okay? As above, so below energy, all right? <clears throat> so with the justice card, again, this is a marriage or a long-term commitment. You may be, um, you know, and this is also karma, you know? So take it as it resonates, but that's what we have here, okay? It's karma, all right? Yep, sexual energy here with the double sexual energy. So we have Capricorn, Gemini, Libra. We have three major arcanas back to back to back. Okay. We also have Aries here. Mm -hmm. We have Pisces. We have um, Scorpio energy as well. Yeah, but there's a shift. Okay, things are going to change. There's going to be a conversation about what you already know, what has been hidden, what has been the secret here. You will find out, you will cut through the chase because you have receipts. All right, bottom of the deck, someone may, someone may get left after this. Mm -hmm. Because there are a lot of people, a lot of sexual activity here, and there's a judgment call. But again, you may feel stuck in your head, trapped in your head, because you really do love this person. Okay? You do. You love this person. You've been together through thick and thin. Okay? But somewhere or another, things just 
went down a road that is that is not likable okay it's not a likable feeling it doesn't feel good let's just get out one card holy spirit regarding this spread for whoever this may resonate with i feel like there will be some changes okay contemplation time Spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. The choice is yours. Okay? So until we see each other again, take care of yourself and be well. Namaste.